It's crossed the Atlantic Ocean. Now the Darwin 200 expedition has reached one of its most important destinations, Rio de Janeiro. This is just one of 32 ports visited by Charles Darwin and the HMS Beagle. Using his voyage as a reference, the objective is to train the best young conservationists of the world. Naturally speaking, the inspiration is derived from the namesake of the project. When you say the word Charles Darwin, many people remember an old man with a beard that wrote lots of important books on evolution and other subjects. But of course, when he started this five-year voyage around the world, he was well, a little older than this. He was 22 years old and went on this incredible journey to discover so many different aspects of natural history and science. At each stop, a group of carefully selected young naturalists arrive and meet with local scientists, promoting an exchange of scientific knowledge and environmental activism. I come from a focus of marine mammals and physical oceanography, and now I will be learning about the invading corals and sea turtles. The Osterschelde ship serves as a base from where local expeditions take place, spending two weeks at each port, like here in Tenerife, where participants study the situation of pilot whales. Overfishing has completely depicted our fish stocks in the ocean, so the more we overfish, the less food there is in the ocean for animals like whales. From reforestation and monkey reintroduction to dolphin and bird population studies, up to 200 young naturalists are expected to participate, hoping, just like Darwin, to change the world of tomorrow.